Hey guys, welcome back. I mentioned in the last video that we were going to start doing videos about other things other than cars, and this video falls into that category. So if you're here for the car content, this is probably not the video for you. If you're here to learn about how to better yourself, this is probably going to be a good one for you. I um, want to talk about something that I struggle with, and uh, I've talked to a couple people over the last couple days, and it seems like it's not as uncommon as I thought. And that is the guilt of taking care of yourself. So in the last video, we talked about a car that I bought. And it's a car that I've wanted for a long time. I love the car. I've actually daily driven the car for about two weeks. And um, absolutely love the car. But what happens is my brain immediately... After the newness wears off over a couple of days, it's not necessarily buyer's remorse, but it's a feeling of, why did I do this for myself? I need to put the money back in my business. I need to put the money toward bills and debt, which I don't have a lot of. But there's, there's a guilt that you feel when you take care of yourself. Now, I'm not sure if it comes from you know, being poor. I don't know if it come from, you know, issues through life of struggling. It, you know, I've been very open about having a hard life. I've been open about struggling with finances years ago uh, to the point that we filed bankruptcy. It, it was the hardest thing I've ever done. And it's also a situation that I never want to be in. I, I never want to worry, where are we going to eat? What are we going to do? And, you know, that may be part of it, but the other thing is just fear of failing my business, fear of failing my family, and I put myself on the back burner. Now, mothers are probably the ones that do this the most. As a mother, you look out for everybody else's needs, and you come absolutely last. And that's something that they feel... As, as dads and husbands, we're a little different. We buy our toys. We, we feel like that's our right. But that's something that I personally struggle with. Um, in January, I upgraded my camera for the business. And I found myself this week running the, the choice of do I sell my camera gear that, that I actually do use for business. I don't use it as much as I should. Or should I sell the car and know that I can make some profit on it, just like I do with everything else? But what I'm learning is it is okay to take care of yourself. It's okay to buy yourself something because of your hard work. There, there's not one thing wrong with rewarding your efforts. You know, a lot of times we're our own worst critic. And, you know, like with this car, it's a car that very few in the family have seen. Most of my friends don't even know I have it, you know, because I'm just not a flashy person. I don't put my stuff out there for the world to, to look at and be like, oh, that must be nice. But what they don't see is I was up at 3 o'clock this morning buying new websites to expand my business. They don't see the sleepless nights and the fact that I never slow down. I'm a hundred miles an hour most of the time, even if it's not a normal nine to five job, I'm still constantly doing things. Uh, in the process of filming this video, I, I didn't get started because I got four phone calls. I've, I've got customers I had to take care of. And that's a hard thing for me to, to do is, is to stop and realize that I've worked for it. I've worked hard to get where I'm at. And it's probably time that I reward those efforts by getting the things I want and not feeling guilty for it. So I know some of you guys are feeling this way. And, uh, you know, I just want to let you guys know the, the reality that I've had to face is that it is okay. As long as your toy that you're buying is not taking food off your plate, it's not changing your monthly bills you're you're still living fine and it truly is extra income extra money splurge a little bit 
enjoy life because we've only got one. You know, the old saying, you can't take it with you when you die, is true. Enjoy it while you're here, but don't put yourself in a position where it puts you in a financial bind. Yeah, be responsible about it, but enjoy your life. So guys, if you didn't see the video with the new toy, I'll link it below. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. We'll talk to you next time.